All right, welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil 4, and now we're going to jump in this minecart, and uh, you have to go up to this one here, and you can um, shoot the uh, the lever there. Now I like to get in the uh, the back minecart. Yeah, guys are going to jump, like are going to freaking like come after you, so be ready. <laughs> Stupid moron got ran over by the thing. This part is just like so exciting and fun. Yeah, now you can shoot those guys before you uh before they ever actually get in the car. Now, if you do, believe it or not, there is a way to collect their loot. It's going to be small, but I'll show you how to get it and it's at the end. Yeah, man, this thing is just, like, creepy but fun at the same time. Yeah, here, you can dodge those things, or you can shoot them out. Or if you hit them, you'll take some damage, but still. Yeah, they, they uh... They flip the little thing there, so you can't try to stop you from, you know... Try to stop you from, um... Proceeding, but all you have to do is shoot it again. Here's a little uh, side route. As far as I know, you can't take that one. Make sure one of these fools isn't trying to come behind me. There's the stupid Plagas head. Believe it or not, Dr. Salvador does make an appearance here. Our good buddy Dr. Salvador shows up. And there he is. Gonna jump over there just to collect Dr. Salvador's loot. Alright. I think there's another Dr. Salvador here. For you, I recommend shotgun because you're gonna need to take these guys out quick. Shotgun or TMP? Because you're gonna need either knockback or speed. Okay, now here's where it starts getting a little crazy. Yeah, we're going down, like, descending on this thing, and it starts to speed up. So you have to be ready, because we're going to have a, uh... Have to jump. And we have to climb. And yeah, see, it's a good thing because uh, it's a long way down. Alright, so that was fun. Alright, let's see here. Now, when you get here, as soon as you come through the door, you want to walk up this way. And it's toward the wall here. Right here. And you can continue just taking pesetas. And that's, you get a small amount for every Ganado that you killed before they had a chance to get on your car. Now, in I think the GameCube version, there was a skull or something there, like a little indication as to where to get this stuff, but it's been removed in the PC version. You get the Stone of Sacrifice. So, that's what we came for. So now we shall proceed onward. So yeah, that was, that was fun. That's one of my favorite parts in the game, personally. Some people don't like it. They say it's like, you know, an Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom ripoff, but I, I think it's really fun. Alright, so... Now we're back out here. So, uh... Let's see. Yeah. Let me go back over here. And we offer the, uh... Dang it. Stupid key. We offer the sacrifice there. And now we go inside. And that's the end of the chapter. save right here. So yeah, that was fun. Alright, now this next chapter, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we're back in the, uh, see, we 
It's like a little underground mine passage that we use to get up like through the castle there. There's some more ammo and a typewriter if you need it. Yeah, okay. Now, um, you've heard of people being vain before, like maybe being a little cocky or something. Get this. Salazar made a giant statue of himself. This is the only way he could ever be tall. So, yeah, look at this. This is just like multiple definitions of creepy. Alright, so... Yeah, so you can't do that, so what you need to do is... You need to... Go over here. Up this ladder. Oh wait, I'm, I'm trying to show you the switches first. I actually have to trigger the enemies to come first. Had a little lapse of brain power there. Alright, so you try to run across here. Then the guy comes and flips the switch. Or he just runs up to it and it kind of flips itself. And then the statue becomes active. And Salazar's goons appear. Taking him out. Because I really don't need his boot right away. But I really wouldn't like to get hit by him. So. Climb up here. And you've got to be ready because these guys are... Like, they love swarm tactics. Yeah, they like to swarm here. Yeah, I see the crossbow jerk-offs over there. Alright, now there's a switch up here. Yeah, see, you can actually hit it from there. And you can hit that switch on his um, chest there, too. Oh, you freaking penis. That's what happens when you swing a mace or a flail at a man with a, with a Thompson submachine gun. Alright, so now his other hand comes down here. And, uh... I think I needed to flip that other switch, too. Yeah, this can kind of get confusing. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's what we needed to do. Because we need to actually get up here. Let's see. Yeah, we need to get here. Now we can, first of all, break those bases for no reason other than to, you know, be vandals. Flip this switch to uh, make one area of the bridge come up. And then, like, the goons just, like, jump down automatically. So be ready. Say it is there. Alright, now, if I'm not mistaken, there is a, um, I think one of the switches we need to hit are back there. Oh, wow. That was really smart on your part, buddy. Alright, gonna go ahead and use some healing. Because you can never be too careful. Get rid of these two jerk-offs. Jump over. Yeah, there's the other switch. Get out of here. Not happening. Alright, so yeah, the, uh, the bridge is up now. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and stop here. When we come back, we're going to cross that bridge with... No interruptions, no problems whatsoever. Of course we are. So thanks for watching. See you next time.